Hey friend, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video. As you guys can see, I am back home, but of course the clips from this video will be where I was in Florida and I had an amazing time. That's all I got to say. But before I get into it, to my amazing supporters, thank you guys so much for all of your amazing support. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you guys so much. As y'all know, today is Thursday, October 6th. It's currently 2.39 p.m. Um, and I didn't get a chance to do an intro for this video so we're gonna do it now and we're gonna do a little recap before we get into the footages so as y'all could tell by the title of this video it's called a day in Fort Lauderdale and um basically I'm just going to tell y'all some stuff that we did or whatnot y'all saw the other video already if you haven't seen it go check it out I'll probably link it in the description box or put the card right up here that you could just click it um so yeah I'm about to share with y'all um how my time in Fort Lauderdale was because as y'all know I was in Florida and I spent some time in different cities so <laughs> Um, one of the first things I'm going to share with y'all that um, I thought was interesting about like Fort Lauderdale at least was the airport. So um, you'll probably find out throughout some parts of these videos. We originally flew into Miami, but we flew out of Fort Lauderdale airport. And baby, what I tell you, there is a difference between Miami airport and Fort Lauderdale airport. There is a huge difference. I personally feel like Fort Lauderdale Airport, it was easier to fly out of there and it was a lot less busier, a lot less crazier than Miami. So if you want to travel into Florida, um, you know, you can go into Fort Lauderdale if you choose and then drive from one city to another. So um, that's just one review that I have. The other thing is um, we did have to book a rental car for like a few days and um, we, uh, one of our friends put us onto this company called National. We never booked with them. We usually book rental cars with Hertz, but National was very easy going. Um, the thing that we love about them is that there's no like no holds or whatever like you know with some rental car companies they charge you like a $500 hold $600 hold or whatever on your account but with national there's no hold and picking up the car was super easy um I'm not gonna lie returning the car was a little bit challenging um it was a little bit harder to find um the return spot but other than that um I would say I would give like national a 9 out of 10 for their service um on car renting so that was the other thing So as y'all gonna see in this video as well, we tried a restaurant. We tried a few restaurants in Fort Lauderdale and they were pretty good. I enjoyed them. Wild Time, like that was really, really, really good. Um, One of my friends, like she put us on to that place and it was a 10 out of 10. Like the food was amazing. Service was amazing. I would definitely go back. Um, So we did enjoy our brunch as y'all will see in the footages.
thing that we liked is the beach. So we went to two different beaches and it was really, really nice. As y'all gonna see, one of them, we just played, um, we just played, Casey just played like football on them or whatever. And I think, I think we did, well, yeah, we did actually walk on another one of the beaches or whatever, and that was it. We just kind of like chilled and whatnot, and it was a good vibe. Again, the difference with the Fort Lauderdale Beach, I feel like compared to the Miami Beach, Fort Lauderdale Beach was a little bit less packed. So if you're not like a huge people person or you don't want to be a, around a lot of people when you're at the beach, Fort Lauderdale Beach is the best to me. Maybe it depends on what day you go, but that's just my experience. convention center it was really nice as y'all saw in my last video it wasn't crazy it wasn't chaotic it was um easy to find easy to park and stuff like that and there's always people around there to help you to direct you with like parking or to show you where you need to go so that was another experience as y'all saw in the previous vlog the airbnb so there's nice places to stay to book out in fort lauderdale which i liked and the other thing that I forgot to mention with the Airbnb, um, it wasn't far from like everything. Like you could literally like find a Target like not far away. You could find a place to eat breakfast and stuff like that not too far away and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I feel like Fort Lauderdale is a very central area and nothing is like too far away from it, which I really liked. Um, and then there's a Jamaican restaurant that we also tried that's called Dutch Pot. I'm gonna insert the um I'm gonna insert the photos on there. So Um, we had tried the Dutch pot I think in Miami at the time last year when we went and we didn't really enjoy the food but baby the one in Fort Lauderdale was like it was so good y'all we I loved it um we tried the jerk chicken and honestly I never had jerk chicken like that like it was so good like it was seasoned different you could tell the flavoring and everything was different but it was still jerk chicken and then we also had oxtails from there which was really 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 good we enjoyed it as well as I told you, so I'm gonna insert the footage there. We also went shopping at Ross. Um, Ross is like a big, big store out in Florida, and I think it's in other parts of the US as well, but unfortunately, it's not in Connecticut where I live. So when I do go to states that have it, I love that store. Um, because you could find like really affordable stuff there or whatnot. If y'all know Fashion Nova, then I feel like it's similar to Fashion Nova where you could get like really trendy stuff there, but for very affordable prices. So we did did go and do a little shop in there or whatnot um we also tried the golden crust there which was really good the golden crust is a beef patty place originally that's what it was and then they extended into like selling food and stuff like that um but we only had the beef patty and it's really good so again if you're looking for good jamaican food i think fort lauderdale is a good place for that if you visit there um let me see and I think that's pretty much it like that's my review that's my point of view on Fort Lauderdale so I'm gonna get into showing y'all like the footages and stuff like that that I captured there but this is my feedback I hope y'all enjoyed the footages and stuff like that and then after the footages we're gonna close out this video
enjoyed this travel vlog this travel video a day in Fort Lauderdale as I told y'all food shopping and the beach like that's you know that's a good day in Fort Lauderdale for me from my experience so if you guys have been to Fort Lauderdale before comment below what your experience is what the vibe you got being there did you like it did you not like it would you go back would you not go back um what else was I gonna say if you've um, live in Fort Lauderdale and you have places to recommend in case I ever do decide to go back which I think I probably will um, comment below like some good places to check out some good places to try so that is all I have for you guys in this video I have more travel content coming for y'all as I told y'all because I was in two other cities in Florida and I did film a lot of content for y'all so make sure y'all stay tuned again if you're new to my channel welcome do not forget to like do not forget to comment and most importantly do not forget to subscribe so that i can continue inspiring your desire to be great so that is all i have for y'all thank you guys so much for tuning in i will see you guys in the next video where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great